Hallelujah, hallelujah. The God of families, the God of peace, the God of reconciliation, the God of power. We serve the God who loves families. Today, I'm going to talk about families. Today is the day of families. Now, a family means father, mother, and their children. Now, in the children, there are two types of children, spiritual children, the children you don't produce, but they are your children. And then they are biological children. Hallelujah. Now, th th there's a difference between a man and a father. There's a difference between a husband and a father. Man, you must be a man, you must be a father, you must be a husband. Woman, you must be a woman, you must be a mother, you must be a wife. Those are different things. So today, I feel I'm going to speak about family, our responsibilities. Now, I'm going to talk about the Bible. Today is the day of salvation. All of you have been watching Mrs. Mane. Today, I want us to receive Jesus so that we can, uh, we can see. Let me tell you, family is the strongest unit of a community. Family is the strongest unit of a country. Family is the strongest unit of, of a church. Family is the strongest unit of every undertaking. Now, family cannot stand without peace. Family cannot stand without husbands loving their wives and wives lisping their husbands. Family cannot stand if children don't obey their parents. Parents, I, I want to challenge you to raise your children in a God-fearing manner. The Bible says, train up a child while he's still young. When he grows up, he will never forget that way. So mama, I want to tell you, those ministers you are putting on, you are training badly your children. Children should be trained to as our, our, our inheritance. The Bible says, a good man, a righteous man, lives inheritance for his children and children's children. In other words, God wants us to prosper. The prosperity we are working, every man watching me today, whoever is hearing my voice, we are working for our wives and our children. You are working for your husband and your children. Now, many people have prepared the wealth for their children, but they have not prepared their children. Hallelujah. Guys, you're going to lose everything you have worked for the entire years of your life if you don't prepare your children. What does the Bible say? The Bible says, but if anyone does not provide for his own, especially of those of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than the, the non-believer. Unbeliever. Now, the Bible tells us about provision. The Bible tells us about providing for our families. I want to tell you, it's not the president to provide for your house. It's not the LOC to provide for your house. It's not the responsibility of the MOP to provide for your children. It's not the responsibility of the pastor to provide for your house. The Bible says if a man cannot provide for his household, he's bad. He's a bad person. As a husband, you must stand out and take protection, take charge of your home. As a husband, you must rise up to care for your wife. You must rise up to care for your children. Our children need to eat well. Our children need to go to school. As a man, you cannot keep on sleeping. You must arise as a man and make a progressive uh, undertakings to make sure your family will eat tomorrow. I won't tell you, come and visit my family. I was a poor man. Look at me. I was thinking the other time. I was so handsome. My wife cares for me because I care for her. It's a way, two-way traffic. If you need your wife to care for you, you have to love them. If you want your children to call you daddy, you have to be a provider. Daddy means a provider. No man, no girl, nobody will call you daddy if you don't provide. Nobody will call you mother if you don't sit and give covering. I understand you are serving other companies, but I want to assure you, your family will come on your death day. Your family will be needed on your hospital. Your family, you are working, you are working, you are giving your intelligence, your integrity, your service to other people, but you have rejected your family. Uganda, let us come back to our families. Let us work for our families. Let us train our children. Let us prepare our children for their inheritance. Don't prepare inheritance. Prepare 
inheritors. Hallelujah. As a pastor, I don't prepare messages. I prepare the messenger. I upgrade myself. I read books. As a pastor, I fast, I pray. As a pastor, I make sure I watch other men of God. I receive impartation because I want to improve myself. The same thing must happen to you. As a father, as a mother, sit together and plan for your children. Sit together and budget for the little money you have. Our children is our inheritance. Don't prepare inheritance for the children. Prepare the children for their inheritance. Hallelujah. There are so many people. I was in Germany. I met a man. He was crying to me and said, Pastor Grace, I feel bad. I only have two sons. I'm a big man. I have a farm. Many cows. He produces cheese. A lot of milk. But he told me, I'm an old man. 90 years. My wife is 85. We are going to die. None of our children have come to take over our, our company, to take over our farm. Now we're going to leave this farm to strangers. Strangers are stealing us. They are, oh my God, they cannot marry the way we want. Our children have run away. They are going to work with other people. I asked him, tell me, how were they? They were always in the boarding schools. We are taken by the drivers. The man was on the farm. Drivers are driving the children to school. Then he started from other countries. In the end of the day, he has lost them all. And in his farm, he doesn't see anybody who help him. The same thing will happen to you if you don't give time to your children. We must have time, family time. Cancel your children. Hallelujah. Woman, look at me. Your husband should not go out before you look for what he's putting on. Hallelujah. The mirror of the husband is their wife. The mirror of the husband is their wives. Hallelujah. And the mirror for the wife, their husband. Husband, go and buy that bed, bed, good dress for the wives that need shoes. They want good hair. They want good dresses. Let me tell you, the Bible says, if you don't handle women well, they can hinder your progress. They can hinder your prayer. Therefore, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the first family today. Because today they don't family. First family, we pray for Papa and Mama, the mother, the president, and the first lady of the country. That family is an example they are followed. I pray for the families of the UBC people. And if there's anybody working with the UBC, you are not married, I release Mbaga anointing. You are going to be awaited in the name of Jesus. I pray for the families of the MPs. I pray for their families, MPs, a speaker, Deputy Speaker and the entire MPs, we pray for your families. May MPs provide for their families. May MPs have family time for their children and their spouses. Right now, I pray for the families of all business people. Hallelujah. As you run your business, may you involve your family into your business. May your family know what you do. May your family see how you run the business. Today is the door families, therefore. I pray for every family watching me today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I let us peace this, this week. I let us peace this weekend. I let us peace this month. I let us peace this year upon your family. Your family, father, mother, and their children. May God provide you. I let this provision upon every family. I pray for new business and for families. Every family needs money. Every family needs businesses. Every family needs investment. I pray for your family business and investments in the name of Jesus. Therefore, Lord, I pray for every family to have a house because a family needs a home. A home is a dome. Dome means a home. And what's a home? A home is a heaven where father and mother raise their children. Every family watching me, may God give you a good house. May God give you a good home where you put your children and provide. I pray for sick families right now. Hey, my God, today is a family day. Therefore, I release healing in every family. Every broken family, I rebuke the spirit of brokenness. I rebuke the spirit of divorce. I rebuke the spirit of sickness. I rebuke the spirit of fighting. Husband fighting the husband. Mother and mother fighting the father. In the name of Jesus, I release healing. If there is any sick in that family, in your family, I pray for healing now in the name of Jesus. My name is Pastor Grace Kabuye. Daddy Grace this time. Daddy Grace Kabuye, my people ministries. You can visit us on our church on Sunday. 
Uh, these are the numbers to call. Come to Entebbe. We love you so much. Uh, these are the numbers to call. Please call. We shall see you. 0516295962. And, and another number to call. The last one. 0704943565. Guys, come to church. We we'll see you on Sunday. We love you so much. See you next week. Bye-bye. Love you.